Hello everyone. Today I'll give you a little walk around of my 2024 Corvette E-Ray convertible. It's a 2LT. The color is hypersonic gray. These wheels come standard. These are called pearl nickel wheels and didn't cost anything extra. Also the carbon ceramic brakes come with an E-Ray. That's a huge upgrade and it's part of the E-Ray. You don't pay anything extra for that either. You can see I've got the black accents, the black vents in the back and the vent on the convertible top is black. Let me open the trunk for you while we're here. It's a pretty spacious trunk. Apparently, I'm not a golfer, but apparently two moderately sized golf bags fit in this. But I've gone away for a weekend before and put everything I needed in the trunk back here and it's not a problem. It's nice too having a convertible because you don't lose any trunk space when you put the top down. The trunk as it always has been is soft close. Now another part of this carbon flash exterior accents are the side wishbones. The E-Ray comes standard with body color accents, but you can get them in carbon flash like the Z06 has, and it doesn't cost anything extra. And I happen to really like it, so I got it. The only badging is right here on the side, it says E-Ray. Other than that, a lot of people probably would think that this was a Z06 if they didn't know the exhaust is different. In fact, let me just show you that because that's a distinctive feature. The exhaust is four exhaust tips, two on each side. And one thing I did pay extra for was the black exhaust tips. I like the square shape of them and some people think they're even louder than the chrome because one of the pipes on one side is actually a little larger. I don't know if it's louder or not, I can't say. I put a tennis ball down here just for scale to give you some idea. These tires are massive 13 and a half inch all season Michelin tires the largest tires Michelin makes, and I believe the largest tires uh, that are offered by anybody, all season tires. Coming back around the passenger side toward the front, I wanna show you the carbon ceramic brakes in the front too, because they're really very impressive. I've been loving them so far. And I really like these wheels. I think these are some of the nicest Corvette wheels offered, at least as far as I've been, as long as I've been buying Corvettes, which isn't all that long, but I really love those wheels. And again, carbon flash in the front because I opted for the, the carbon flash accents. And I really like the mini splitter on this car that is painted the body color. I think it just looks really cool. Okay, let me show you the uh, frunk as well, the front trunk. There's a little button here to pop that open. Now I have the plastic cover off here uh, just because I was playing around in here doing some different things, made another video about uh, something else up here. And so I can show you what it looks like. 
You can see the shock towers there on each side have the wires because they have magnetic ride control. Again, that's a standard thing with the E-Ray. They all have that. And connecting the two big shock towers is this very strong looking stabilizing brace. And then right here in the middle, you can see is the lithium ion 12 volt battery that starts the car. And the E-Ray is the only model that has that. You can see the top of my cooler in the front. It's pretty deep. That's a, that's a good size cooler and um, it fits a lot, of, a lot of things up there if you want to put your cool stuff, drinks and beverages and whatever, food in the front. Uh, because the trunk stays gets a little warm. It's not too bad really, but uh, I like to put my groceries up front New for 2024 is a soft close frunk Aha uh -huh. Let's see didn't work All right, let me try this again Okay, it sucked it down that time. Not sure what the problem was, but. Okay, I've mentioned the convertible top a couple times. Let me just show you how that works. I'm gonna use the remote here to put it down. One press and then hold the button. And that's it. It stows the top on the top of the engine compartment. That's one thing about the, uh, the convertible. You can't see the engine without taking a plastic cover off. Um, but I'll sacrifice that any day for the convenience. But people have different use cases and I certainly understand why some people would prefer to have the coupe. I really like the red interior that I got in this car. I was going for a little bit more of a sophisticated look this time with the hypersonic gray metallic exterior color, but I wanted something that really made it pop and made it look like a real sports car. So the red interior for me was the way to go. And one other thing that I did pay extra for was the GT2 seats because I really love the look of the GT2 seats and they're just so comfortable. I can drive for hours without getting out of the seat and it's, it's no problem at all. And this time I did not get the two-tone interior because two-tone turns the center of the seat and the headrest black. And I wanted the headrest to really stand out and pop. So that saved me about $500 to not get the two-tone seats. All of the stitching in here, I know it's probably hard to see, but the stitching is perfect. It really, really looks nice. There are two new buttons for the E-Ray. And if I can show you, get close enough here, right next to the driver's side right knee is a charge plus button and an auto stop start button the charge plus just allows you to direct more charge to the 300 volt battery in the center tunnel that drives the electric motor and the auto stop start just disables that feature which is something i've been doing because it's kind of annoying to have the engine stop whenever you come to a stop it doesn't happen every time but when it comes to a stop, the engine shuts off and then the engine is fairly loud. It's not like some cars where it's seamless. On this car, 
when the engine restarts, it's noticeable. And I don't know, I just think it's annoying. So I usually shut that off. You have to shut that off every time you drive the car. It's a little bit of a pain, but I don't mind, I do it. So let's, uh, let's show you what I'm talking about as far as the sound of the car. I'll do a remote start and then I'll get out of here. Farewell until next time.